Hey, it's Jordan Am. Everything gaming, right here on 91.1 WEDM. Let's go! 91.1 WEDM, this is Jordan Am, your host for the best gaming podcast in the world, and I'm here with Getaway Stenner. Say hi. Hey, yeah. And we're going to be talking about the LCS, and Worlds is actually starting right now. It's actually been doing going for a couple of days right now. Uh, started watching on the weekends. It was at 1, though, so... Yeah, didn't help for my uh, sleeping health, but <laughs> um, how about we start with uh, TSM, um, that mid-season invitational. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, they didn't place too well. Like, I don't understand. Like, NALCS, they were doing so well. They destroyed every single team except for Cloud9. They had some trouble with that, but then once they got into the MSI, ooh, what do you think about that? <laughs> They, they did drop the ball a lot when they yeah. got there, which is it's kind of nice to see, though, because before it's always been, like, TSM as the NA team. Yeah. But now we're getting a lot more diversity into the roster, and we can see more, like, rep- representation from NA. And that's way better, in my opinion, than just having, yeah, Team Solo <laughs> mid, great. Like, like Phoenix oh, One, where did they come from? I mean, they just came out with guns blazing. Like, I didn't expect them to play so high. Like, Right, yeah, I know. It was strange. But it's super exciting this year, actually. Like, I'm way interested in it this year just because there's so much upsets going on. Yeah, like, I, I wasn't so interested in Worlds before, like, LCS next last year because it, it just seemed like the same old thing, TSM, you know, being the best. And then all of a sudden, Cloud9 and Phoenix One just stepped up their game this year. Like, that's crazy. And I've, I've always been a Cloud9 fan myself. Exactly. Like, that's how I got into getting high. Like, at first I was silver, but then I started watching a lot of Sneaky, and I got super into ADC. And from there, I've just been... He's been one of my role models in playing the game. Really good. Mm-hmm. Um, what about SKT? They they ooh, their LCK this year. Ooh, didn't they place like third or fourth? Yeah, something around that. It which is pretty bad. Again, I don't want another set yeah. of SKT skins. Yeah, ugh. I kind of don't want them to win worlds this year. I kind of want somebody different. It's been like three years already. I I, I think they they've had their spotlight. They they, they need to stop right now. Mm-hmm. And stop while you're ahead. It was an it was a very big upset when Long Zhu just completely just dominated them. I did not expect Long Zhu. I was like, wait, where'd they come from? <laughs> yeah, that's that. Um, I was hearing a lot about them. They were getting a lot of coverage actually, yeah. and they didn't have the best reputation to begin with. Mm-mm. So like, as soon as they came in and went won against SKT, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, they definitely have the spotlight right now. Everyone's watching them. Um, now, uh, Cloud Nine, since we like Cloud Nine so much, their performance recently. Oh, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. I'm super stoked for it. They have been... Pro- Jensen and Smoothie m- mark out for me the most. Smoothie's recon has been so smooth throughout all of this. Yeah. Like, I'm imp- incredibly impressed. They've been focusing a lot of attention on bot lane as well. Uh, a lot of their bands have been focused around keeping Sneaky and Smoothie afloat. Because yeah. in, in their team, they are the lower ones. Yeah. Like, they have Jensen and Impact up there. They're fine in their lanes. But really, they just need to keep protecting Sneaky for him to get his mid-game power spike like he did in the game. I think it was Dire Wolves, yes. When they started off with that super early lead. Yeah. But then once mid-game came, Sneaky could just come in and he got that double in the mid lane. And that's where Sneaky shines. So if they can just get him there, all of it ends in place with them. Man, they have me scared with that Dire Wolves. Uh... <laughs> I woke up at 3. I was like, okay, so who's playing right now? Okay, Cloud9 versus DW. Uh, 1 to 13. That's not good. <laughs> I got <laughs> yeah. real scared. Um, okay, uh, what do you think is the best rookie of the year? I, you know, I don't, I have no idea. I can't, <laughs> like, there's just. There's so many rookies this year. Yeah, there's so much to watch for. I, there's nothing, like, I don't. For me, it's contracts. I absolutely love his jungle plays. Mm-hmm. His steals. I, I call him, like, just the king of barons because he just steals them every single time. <laughs> Especially right. during the summer split. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, what about Adi? Okay. Now, he's he's been a jungler that I've been watching a lot. He has some of the best, like, awareness of where everyone is on the map that I've seen. Like, there was a game, um, him versus uh, World Elites. And he completely read Condi. Like, Condi would go in to invade his blue. He backed after red, took Q, 
first, and then he took his leap. He knew he would be there, and he focused on that kill potential, and it eventually got the top laner a kill, first blood off it. Now, uh, if you've seen uh, TSM's latest video where they were talking about the group draw, and they were talking about what group they were in and how they got the easiest group, I, I feel like they're being extremely cocky, and they're going to eat their words if they lose completely in that group stage. Like, Oh, wow. I haven't actually heard anything about this. They're like, oh, we got the easiest group in, in the world. All of a sudden, they're like, okay, I'll mark those words. Really? They're Yeah, I wow. forgot which one. Who was in their group, actually? But yeah. This, these last few, these last two days, Saturday, Sunday, have been Eventful. super, yeah. And I'm actually very surprised that Direwolves went below one. Yeah. Because they brought in their substitute. They got rid of Brucer for... Oh God, who was it? Marf? Yeah. They got rid of Brucer for Marf, and all of a sudden they win twice in a row against Direwolves. Yeah. Okay, I think I got it up. It is oh, cool. um, uh, Flash Wolves, Misfits, and TSM, and to be decided, whoever gets into the seed. Oh, wow. I don't know. Misfit, Misfits, eh, they've been okay. They've been all right. Yeah, Flash Wolves is... Definitely not, like, the yeah. worst team in the world. Yeah. I don't know. It seems strange for them to be that cocky about a group that doesn't seem that bad. Maybe Immortals will be uh, uh, have a bit of a trouble because they're going against Gigabyte Marines and Long Zoo. So mm. I don't know about that. Uh, group A is Edward, SK Telecom, AHQ. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of AHQ. I <laughs> oh, they must be. Wait, AHQ. Soccer club to begin with at first. <laughs> <laughs> cause that's cause like Schalke and Paris Saint Herman are both football clubs, so yeah. Oh no, they've been in, they've been in qualifiers for a while now. Never mind, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> and um, it's Cloud Nine going into first seed, if I remember. Mm-hmm. That's that's gonna be crazy. Um, but who do you think's gonna win Worlds? Who do I think is going to win, or who do I want well, to win? Well, yeah, who you want to win, and who do, you, <laughs> who do you want to win, and who do you think will win? Of course, I think I, w I really want Cloud9 to win. I always have. I love their whole team. I love their story, even from two years ago to now. But honestly, if I had to bet on someone, I'd bet on Long Zoom. Mm -hmm. They are coming out super strong this year, and their win against SKT is... The biggest hope, I think. Um, of course, same. I want Cloud9 to win, but they're, I, I feel like they're going to have trouble with uh, Samsung Galaxy because mm -hmm. Samsung Galaxy, they, they, were, they were the underdogs of last year, and they've been pretty good this year. So I don't know what will happen. I feel like it'll be at least Long Zoo and Samsung Galaxy at the finals, and whoever will win that match, I don't know because they seem both equal in skill. But, um, what hap- I forgot which one is tonight. I think it's Group C. Yeah. Was it was Group C yesterday. Yeah, no, it's Group C today. They just did, uh, Group A and B. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because they do them- They did them- They did A and B together. Oh, we have two minutes left. I have- <laughs> I need to have, like, 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> what else to talk about? Uh-oh. Um, can Fnatic make it out of the play-in stage at Worlds? <sighs> I- <laughs> I kind of, I don't know. They, I've, I watch them, and I'm like, they, they're really inconsistent. Yeah, they're very inconsistent. They can, they, they can either do really well in their games and get it going, or they just completely fall flat. Yeah. So, honestly, whether or not they can get out of play-ins is, <laughs> well, what weather is it outside at that day, right? <laughs> you know? I guess we'll see tonight, maybe. Uh-huh. Um, but what I think about Fnatic, since... Somehow, I don't know how they made it. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of think they wouldn't have made it, but... Yeah. Uh, it was actually kind of surprising, but I, I, I don't think they're going to make it. I honestly don't think they're going to make it because... That's fair. The people that are against them. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's let's get into um, more general. It's not fully worlds, but uh, the jungle is real. We've been saying a lot more of. Yeah. What do you... Well, what do you what do you think about that new development? For me, since okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the best at League, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know much about League, but I do know that uh, Ezreal is usually an ADC. So having him in jungle, it feels kind of weird to me because I don't know. It's just like seeing Graves in jungle. It's kind of weird having a ranged person in jungle. 
Well, we saw this um, last season as well with the new with the Runeglaive. Yeah. With Runeglaive when that first came out. So the Jungle Azrael is definitely not a new thing. But this year, it seems a lot more... It seems a lot stranger. Because the Jungle Azrael this time is f focused fully on the early games. Like, you can see... Condi, especially, who has been using it, tried to get tons of early ganks around and do force flashes in the lanes. But then it hits this point where it's it's like maybe one or two minutes where the jungle Ezreal can't do anything at all. And it's at that point that I've seen it completely lose all traction, especially against these, you know, top tier challenger teams. Yeah. Those five man roams can really take out that one Ezreal who is completely useless for that two minutes before it can buy its first Trinity Force. Yeah. First Trinity Force. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna buy three. That's the new build, by the way. Ooh. What about the promotion league? The what? The the LCS promotion league uh, with Delta Fox, um, Giants, things like that. You don't watch <laughs> the promotion league, do you? No. <laughs> Why would I do that? Like, okay, well, I, I watched it solely this year because it was, um, Dyrus came back. Oh, yeah? He was in Delta mm -hmm. Fox with I'm a Cutie Pie, things like that, and they didn't do so well, sadly. <laughs> yeah. But Dyrus, Dyrus has gone very far under the rug. He used to be, like, forefront in everyone's mind for the longest time, but now he's just kind of... He's kind of eh. Remember that guy? Yeah. That used to be there? Remember remember that 2015 champion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, securely. No. No, I can't look at the... Okay, let me look at the scores. Get wrecked. <laughs> Noob. But, um, yeah, League is getting interesting. Uh, the LCS, definitely. Quality commentary right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Proud. I have to think of words up my head because I didn't really write a script, so... Now. It's, it's always best just, you know, off the dome. Yeah, exactly. Who needs scripts, man? Who needs them? You always just gotta, just gotta wing it. For, for those of you playing at home, he gave me a paper with five sentences on it. Yeah, exactly. None, none of them are fully complete. They're just, yeah. Yeah, they're just, they're just thoughts. They're just the, literally the, the just whole outline for this entire thing. <laughs> five lines. <laughs> you don't have to expose me like that. <laughs> <laughs> what about Gambit? Hmm? Gambit? Gambit. Mm. Mm. What I they... expected more from them. Yeah. What did they end off? What? Uh, did they? Yeah, they got zero. Oh, four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Ooh. Yeah. Gambit, what are you doing? I expected at least something from them. Yeah, I expected at least one win. Like, yeah. Who were they versus for this? They're versus... Uh, they were against... Uh, Cloud9. Nine. Elite and Lion. Really? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. In group A. What am I talking about? Yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah, yeah. World Elite. Mm. But they chose a Camille against Lion Gaming in the last one. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Wow. Okay. The, their team comps were not very good. One of them was even brave enough to use Kane. Yeah, <laughs> I I looked at that one too. Kane Jungle. Wow. Was it also the game they had um, the Astro? That was Gambit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All all, all picks that are not in right now, like a Kane is very strange to see. He doesn't fit anything yeah. right now. He's he he's basically just a work in progress for everybody right now. He's I, really I, good in solo queue, but he just doesn't have as much pressure as he needs to for Yeah. The I wouldn't, I wouldn't use him level. In, in competitive as of yet <laughs> cuz he's he's not the best bet right now. Guy will Oh yeah, one of them it was White Lotus and he's got the first pentakill of worlds right now. Oh yeah. That was insane. I was watching it too. I was just like, "Oh, really? Is he about to get the pentak? He got the pentakill! Wow!" Who are they versus on that one? Um, let me see. Um, oh no, I forgot what team White Lotus is on. Uh oh, it was a lion. <laughs> was it lion? I think it no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was lion. Yeah. He was the ADC. Uh, it was against. I think it was against Gambit. <laughs> Gambit. Wow, Gambit <laughs> is having a bad day. <laughs> They're having a bad season already. Ugh. Jeez. And they had, uh, yeah, he was playing as Callista. Every Fiora game has lost. True. It, they have as, lost. As a Fiora main myself, <laughs> I find it very sad. Because also in each of those games, um, the Fiora was even. But then everyone on the team, not. Yeah. <laughs> not, not the representation I need. <laughs> wow, we talked a lot about this. Um, I mean, there's a lot to explore with it. Yeah, there is. Maybe and we're only, we're only two days in with yeah. the results. The results for what C haven't come in. Yeah, C and D. Which I don't think D even started yet. Says a no D is it no? It says approximately one o'clock in the morning. It's currently like nine something. 
<laughs> I don't see them. We have a long way to go. <laughs> Anyways, um, we were talking about the LCS rather uh, strangely and um, unorganized, but you know. Oh yeah. That yeah. that's how inside the huddle goes. So I mean, you can't really blame <laughs> us. But thank you for being here, Getaway Standard. No, oh, you're welcome. It was glad pleasure to have you. Have. Glad to be halved. Glad to be halved. <laughs> <laughs> You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring you back up here once uh once Worlds ends, maybe. Oh wow, talk to giant recap then. Maybe yeah, not just have oh, two yeah. days. Then we'll have something to talk about. Definitely something to talk about. Well, that's it for me. Um, thank you guys for listening in. Um, if you didn't, why? Uh, you should tell your friends about me, and uh, one v one me on League. My name, my gamer tag is Jordan M, as it always will be, and one of you won Getaway Sterner. I d- will not uh, guarantee that you will have a chance against him, but <laughs> anyways, see ya!